If you're sick of cauliflower on keto, then this video is for you. Today we're making two exciting keto-friendly side dishes that have nothing to do with cauliflower for once. If you're new here, Sarah and I have been on keto since January of 2019, and we've pretty much made everything out of cauliflower. Cauliflower rice pudding. We even tried cauliflower ice cream. Don't do it, it was bad. We've made it into fried rice, but today we decided to go against the grain and try two new recipes that we are really excited about. I really miss potatoes al gratin on keto, and so when I came across this recipe of daikon al gratin, I definitely wanted to try it. Daikon is a radish, and what's great about daikon is that I was able to get this whole bag of daikon for like $3 on Amazon, and so this is a lot of radish. Some people might initially be like kind of turned off by the idea of daikon, and that's because radishes can be very peppery, but when you cook them, and I mean almost cooking them to the point that they're overcooked, you can get a texture that's similar to potatoes without all the carbs. Daikons are an Asian radish and I don't use them that often, so I'm really excited to try this recipe. Al gratin is like a recipe that has like coins of potatoes inside a creamy and cheesy sauce, and I think it's gonna go perfect with our main entree today. So this recipe can be found on the Keto Mojo website. We will leave the original recipe link below, but it's pretty straightforward. First, we're gonna cut our daikon on a mandolin, which is kind of scary for me considering I've never used one before and I don't want to slice off my fingers which could happen if you watch this channel often you would know that we're quite haphazard in the kitchen we're gonna slice these into about 1 8 inch pieces you're gonna need about two pounds of daikon for this recipe very impressed so far that's my first time using a mandolin and I didn't slice off any of my fingers we have two pounds of sliced daikon we're going to add it to a pot of boiling water with a little bit of salt in it and we're going to cook these for 10 maybe 15 minutes Sarah and I have done a lot of videos about radishes on our channel because we really do like them as a keto-friendly substitute. The thing with radishes though is that you're gonna wanna cook them more than you think that you will. And it, especially if you don't like the taste of radishes, cook them even more than that. The more you cook radishes, the more you get like that peppery taste taken out and they are just a vehicle for a cheesy, creamy sauce which is what I'm looking forward to. While the radishes are boiling for 10 to 15 minutes, we're gonna talk about our main entree because you have to have a main entree. These are just the sides. And the main entree for this video are these ribeyes from ButcherBox, who happens to be the sponsor of this video. A really great feeling is when a company reaches out to you to sponsor videos on our channel that we really love and support and are actual customers of, which ButcherBox is one of those companies because Brad and I have been customers of ButcherBox for years. Actually, all of the meat that we cook in our house comes from ButcherBox. Brad and I receive a box of high quality, humanely raised meat every month to our door and it takes care of our meat shopping needs. ButcherBox delivers 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, pork-raised crate-free, and wild-caught seafood from partners that are dedicated to doing the right thing. You can change or update the frequency of your box at any time with no penalties. And we have a super exciting deal for you guys. It's a limited time offer. Between July 1st and 4th of 2022, new ButcherBox members will receive two 10-ounce ribeye steaks for free in every box for the entire year. So here are the steaks that you will receive for free in every box for the next year. And these are the ones that we're gonna be cooking up today. We are going to just slightly be seasoning them with some Montreal steak seasoning. And then we're going to be smoking them for about an hour with some hickory pellets. We're going to cook them until they are medium, medium rare, about 145 degrees. Make sure to click the link in our description to get this amazing deal. It's for a limited time only. Thanks so much to ButcherBox for supporting our channel by sponsoring some videos. And thanks to you guys for supporting our sponsors. So we preheated our oven to 350 degrees and here are the daikon. They are semi-translucent, they're soft, but they're still holding their shape. They boiled for about 15 minutes and let me try one. To me, this really does remind me of a potato. Now we're gonna prepare our sauce for our daikon al gratin. But first, we're gonna wanna take out more of the moisture that is found in this colander right now. So we're gonna lay these out on a paper towel to drain even further because you're not gonna want that excess moisture in your dish. To a saucepan on medium heat, we've added one and one half cups of heavy whipping cream, one and a half teaspoons of sea salt, three fourths of a teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of dried thyme, one teaspoon of onion powder, one half teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm gonna combine this gently until it is heated up 
to a slight boil. Once we brought our cream mixture to a boil, I added a couple tablespoons of butter and then I greased our baking dish. The recipe calls for an eight by 10 baking dish. We don't have that. We have an eight by 12 one perhaps. And so that's the one that we're gonna be using. So here we have our extra large baking dish. The only baking dish that we have, I'm gonna be layering the daikon slightly overlapping and creating one cohesive layer at the bottom. Once we have our first layer down, we're gonna generously put some of our cheese on top. The recipe said to make three layers, but I don't think that we're gonna have enough to make three because our pan is wider. So hopefully we're gonna have enough for two layers. And then we're gonna repeat the process and put the rest of the cheese on the top. And then we're gonna cover it with our cream thyme spice blend. And that's gonna make the El Gratin part. This is gonna go into the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. While that's cooking, Sarah has an amazing broccoli dish that she's gonna try. Okay, so our next side dish recipe actually comes from TikTok. It's by a creator called Alexandra's Kitchen, and it's called roasted broccoli steaks with tomato butter and an olive bread crumb. So the first step is going to be preparing and roasting our vegetables. So I've taken my broccoli and I've cut it in half and placed it onto a baking tray, added a little bit of olive oil spray, salt and pepper, and we put that aside. Next, we're gonna be working on our roasted tomatoes. I took two cups of cherry tomatoes and one onion and then lightly oiled it with some olive oil and salt and pepper. Both of these are gonna go into a really hot oven, 475. I don't think I've ever actually put up my oven to this temperature before. We're gonna be roasting it for 30 minutes at 475. And then at 25 minutes, we're going to be flipping the broccoli over. So part of this recipe, the title had breadcrumbs in it. And obviously we're keto and we're not gonna be using bread, but I did read in the recipe on the website that you can use toasted walnuts. And I thought that that would be really delicious. So that's what we're gonna be using as our breadcrumbs. So I have some walnuts that are chopped toasting on low heat. You don't want to overdo it with this, just a light toast on the walnuts. And then we're going to be adding our Kalamata olives that we've chopped finely. And that's pretty much it for that step. Here's our onion and cherry tomato mixture. It's looking nice and roasted and caramelized. We're going to transfer it to our blender and then we're gonna be adding in four tablespoons of butter and about one fourth cup of water. We're gonna be adding a little bit more butter and more water because we want to make enough to serve four people. So we're making extra sauce. We're sauce gals here on Keto Twins and we need ample sauce for our broccoli heads. I wanna check it for seasoning. It kind of reminds me of tomato soup. It's hmm. really buttery and I like the roasted vegetables, but I think it needs some salt and pepper. So that's what we're gonna do now. We need more cheese, a little bit of parm. Okay, so this is going to go back into the oven for 15 more minutes and then we're gonna stick it under the broiler for about a minute and then it's ready to serve. We're gonna top it with some fresh parsley once we're plating it up. So here we are, we have our two amazing looking side dishes. They look really fresh and delicious. I'm super excited to try them. Your daikon al gratin looks very legitimate. Looks like Thank potatoes. You. Got a nice brown color on the top. And especially with that green element, looks delicious. This looks like you could get it at a fancy restaurant. Honestly, mm. very excited. So let's try the al gratin. Al gratin, al gratin or al, al gratin? Al gratin, okay. The gratin. Mm. Super good. I can't tell that it's not potatoes. Mm -hmm. There's no spiciness for the radish. It just has the same texture of a potato. Creamy, cheesy, it's absolutely delicious. You have to try it. On the Keto Mojo website, it says that this has four net carbs per serving, wow. which is really impressive. I don't know how much is in a normal serving of au gratin, a potato au gratin. We'll probably put it up here. It's gonna be a lot. Definitely try this if you miss this dish. I'm gonna bet that you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. I love that caramelization mm -hmm. on the top of the cheese. That's my favorite part. Next up is the broccoli steak with the olives and the walnuts with that tomato butter. This mostly doesn't have dairy in it. You could always use ghee instead of butter. I really love the colors of this dish. It's perfect for summer. I'm not used to putting olives on vegetables, but it adds a nice briny flavor without making it too salty. I think this would be beautiful in the fall too. Mm -hmm. It's kind of got like that fall colors mm -hmm. as well. You get to really appreciate the flavors of the broccoli and the tomato. And the toasted walnuts on top make a great replacement for the breadcrumbs. I almost don't miss them. <laughs> I really love when creators give options for people that don't want to eat bread. So it's amazing that they included that in this recipe. And finally, we're going to cut into our butcher box ribeye. The beautiful thing about these ribeyes from butcher box is that they're just absolutely delicious on their own. Sarah's husband did smoke these for us for about an hour and um, I'm excited to try it. You don't need much on a steak like this. 
It just tastes really good with the smoke and the light seasoning that he put on there. It's delicious. So we are super happy with both of these recipes. I really love potatoes and honestly, I don't feel like I'm missing out when I get to have something like this. And a lot of times recipes can kind of be a little bit disappointing, but this one from Keto Mojo absolutely delivered. What about mine? And yours is like the Mediterranean fresh, healthy version. Mine is like the cheesy, gooey, yeah. <laughs> buttery, potato-y, wannabe version. And I actually really like both of them. So yeah, I think you guys should definitely try both of these. If you guys do try it, make sure to tag us on Instagram at Keto Twins Official or a TikTok at Keto Twins. And if you want to see another video where we made radishes into another potato dish, German potato salad with bacon and a mustardy vinaigrette. Oh, it was, it was really, good. really delicious. You can click right here and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emily. And I'm Sarah. And, and we're, we're the, the Keto, Keto Twins, Twins signing out. out.